Okay, part 24, I'm no longer tired and I can think straight and now it occurred to me that I really should wait to get Mumbo and turn into a pumpkin until I'm ready to leave the level because I'm gonna wanna get Cheeto with him. And of course, as soon as I start up this part of I Am Window pops up. Of course, I could like set my um, status to busy or something, but that wouldn't be any fun now, would it? Okay, so if Mumbo lives there, what's in the big hedge maze? I'm sure it'll make me sad. Oh yeah, how much health do I have? Okay, full, that's good. Might as well get that switch there. I think I have a general idea of where the everything is in this level. I don't think this gave me any problem when I was doing it last time. No, that did not work. Jeez, they don't fade in or anything. That's not super graphics. Oh, I have to beat bomb it. This game is weird. And I know it's not called Beak Bomb, but I all have Beak in the name and end with B, probably. Or the word they end in has a B in it. Is this it? No, it is not. Big Oak Door is very tough, stupid bear's not fast enough. That wasn't a very nice thing to say, and I can't remember where the stupid Big Oak Door is. Oh, it's back there. Okay, might as well do a quick run around the roof to make sure I'm not missing anything for when I turn into a pumpkin. I don't want to be doing a bunch of backtracking. I'm pretty sure the only stuff with the pumpkin is this, logo, and getting that honeycomb piece, but it never hurts to make sure. Why doesn't it um, do that thing where I bounce off the ground and get to move a little bit after I beat barge? Because that would, or whatever it's called, because that would help a lot in getting to the walkity shoes faster. Jeez, how are you supposed to do that? Oh, I guess I could just jump over the hedge instead of running around it. That would make sense. But I just noticed another window I want to go in. I have such a lovely system for playing through this level. Oops. Didn't know that burnt me. This room feels strangely empty and pointless. Did I ever mention how much I like the sounds Banjo makes in this game more than he does in Banjo-Tooie? I don't know why he was trying to be all manly and stuff, but I like the squeaky noises here. He- Whoops. Stupid thorns. Yeah, this is much faster. Whoops. Uh, why does everything cancel out all the modes I want to be in in this game? And why does it think I need to see that every time? I got the general idea after the first time. Let's see. I'll hit the very edge of it. So I'm closer to the shoes. Almost there, I think jumping off that platform made it work. Hooray! Ah, Mozart, the hardest puzzle in the game. And all fans of Banjo, uh, Tui will know that you could walk through here to get to the, um, 
what's that part of the Isle Hag is called with the witchy world and absolutely nothing else in it? Pine Grove. Oh no, it's Master Hand. Yes. The fact that you can do it immediately after him sort of kills the difficulty. Are you done yet? Okay. Is this one going to be any harder than the last one? Stupid black keys. All with their smallness and are dumb. Oops. What? Did that count? No, or yes, or something. Oh wait, you could probably just run ahead of him and enter the tune, and that's what speedrunners would do, but... I think I've made it fairly evident I'm not speedrunning this. Thank you very much. Good old notes, and He's a giant severed hand, and doesn't afraid of anything. I don't know why I keep collecting these feathers. I don't even care about extra lives. Dying is terrible no matter how many lives you have. The worst that could come of not having enough extra lives would be um, having to walk a little bit through the Grunty's lair. How do I get over there? <laughs> that freaked me out. And then there's all kind of goodies up in the rafters. A hinkum tokum. And, uh, empty honeycomb. Not as good as the quant one. What? That was horrible. I wonder, can I fall down from here without taking damage? Uh, well, at least I only took one damage instead of dying, and I just remembered that I should not be toying with death in this game. I was so used to doing it in Banjo-Tooie because it didn't really matter. Now, how many Jiggies here do I have? Five. That's not a very big number. I miss the enemies, they gave me health. Oh well, this maze is filled with giant ghosts. Eh, uh, zombie ghosts leave this place. Can I kill that, um, barnacle with eggs? Maybe? I'm becoming quite creative in my ways of getting health. Let's see, so I think I'm going to tackle the hedge maze next. I don't exactly have a planned out strategy of how I'm doing anything. I don't exactly remember where the hedge maze is. Stupid camera. There's the hedge maze. I 
I forget what you get for doing this. And I also think I might have already done it. Crap, I'm almost out of time. Maybe I'll be able to get to the other side. Or wait, is the only thing in here a Jinjo that I already got? Yes, I'm pretty sure the only thing in here is a Jinjo that I already got. Or is it? Oh, some angry bees. That helps me. I wish you could kill the bees for honey. Uh, but anyway, I'm almost out of time and I don't want to go overboard and lose a bunch of um, audio and crap like I tend to have been doing recently, so I'll end it here.